Yes, that was Afan Hussain <coughs> who has delivered a speech on criticism with wonderful, with sublime confidence. And this child's voice is very powerful, I said. There are three children of Ajmal College, who told me that you have a thousand times better than the three children of the three children of the three children of the three children. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a great gift from all the skills. But they have to learn the skills, they have to learn the skills, they have to learn the skills. So you can put four chants in your performances. One of them is a student. I hope you will do wonders in the coming days ahead. Assalamu alaikum and a very good afternoon to all of you. I am Afan Hussain. I am a student. I am studying 11th standard in commerce at Ajmal College of Arts, Commerce and Science, Hojai. I would like to extend my deepest gratitude to Ajmal Foundation and English House Academy for providing us with a wonderful platform to enlighten our brains and develop our personality. I'm going to deliver a speech on criticism cannot damage your personality. Criticism cannot shatter your dreams. The entire water of the sea cannot sink a ship unless it gets inside the ship. Similarly, the negativity of the world cannot put you down unless you allow it to get inside you. Criticism cannot shatter your dreams as long as you remain focused and keep moving ahead. Distinguished chief guest, guests of honor, and you all wonderful people, I am immensely honored and privileged to stand here up the stage and deliver my speech on criticism cannot damage your personality, criticism cannot shatter your dreams. Dear brothers and sisters, if people criticize you, hurt you, or shout at you, don't bother at all. Just remember that in every game, Audience make the noise, not the players. Remember, when you are doing something big, when you are doing something great, when you are doing something extraordinary, when you are grooming your personality, when you are progressing in your life, when you are shining in the world, you would certainly find a few people, green with envy, extremely jealous of your progress and success. They may put obstacles in the way. They may make false allegations against you. They may even run conspiracy against you to damage your reputation, tarnish your image, and best much your stature. Dear brothers and sisters, when we go through such situations, we tend to lose our hopes and give up our dreams. My dear friends, let me tell you, at such times, you need to be more focused and keep moving ahead as reverse, never go reverse. I repeat, reverse, never go reverse. And remember, the first Prime Minister of United Kingdom, Winston Churchill said, you will never reach your destination if you stop and throw stones at every dog that barks. Every day, two bulls fight in every person's mind, positivity and negativity. Do you know which one wins? The one which you fed the most. Dear friends, life is precious, but it is too short. So never waste your time, never waste your energy, indulging yourself in pessimism, thinking of taking revenge, against the people who are not letting you reach your goals. 90% of the talented and promising individuals are believed to have shattered their dreams and destroyed their careers, indulging themselves in taking revenge against their enemies and rebels. Whereas the 10% of the people who have accomplished their goals and dreams reported to have turned a deaf ear to criticism and moved ahead with a positive frame of mind. So if you wish to shine and do wonders in your lives, you must learn to avoid criticism and focus on your goals. You encounter many problems and difficulties in your life. Don't ever lose your hope. Keep moving ahead. You come across many obstacles and hurdles in your life. Don't ever lose your confidence. Keep going ahead. Go ahead with the belief that difficulties in your life do not come to destroy you, but to help you realize your hidden potential and power. Let the difficulties know that you too are difficult. I sum up my speech with a message that it's been a tremendous pleasure to stand here up the days and address such an elite gathering. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.